Um, so, any comments, any suggestions? We were, uh, you know, happy to hear from you. <laughs> anywhere in the world, which I think is so nice, and so, like, sim like the, the simplicity of it is, like, I think what's, like, so universally beautiful. Yeah. I had, so I did have a question, though, on um, the composition of the group, because I know in the beginning you mentioned a lot about the tensions that are in Bahrain, not only between the Shi'i Sunni, mm -hmm. uh, ethnically Bahraini Arabs, but also um, the sort of foreigner influence, and, like, if I understand correctly, I'm assuming Bahrain has as big of an expatriate population yeah. as there is in the other Gulf countries, mm -hmm. and they're probably very important to Bahrain economically, and socially, so um, in that sense, like, is the, it, has there been a discussion of sort of like interacting with that sort of, you know, um, group, or like, is this, or is this like more of like a Bahari, you know what I mean, like, I, I, but like in terms of the group, uh, like, like the it? diversity of yeah. uh, communities in Bahrain, and yeah. whether if we communicate with them or not, yeah, yeah I mean, um, I think <coughs> it started me and Nella at the beginning, uh, we first wanted to gather a team in which you have diversity in it, so the diversity was actually one objective of forming the team in the beginning. So um, if uh, you have a talk with all of us, uh, you can see like, for example, Wassan is from an area, Ali is from another area. So we try to actually take different areas mm -hmm. and not even the areas because uh, uh, some of us are, are Shia, some of us are Sunni, some of us sushi. half and half sushi. <laughs> <laughs> But then, but then again, being Sunni or being Shia doesn't mean that if I'm Sunni that I'm pro-government or if uh, someone is Shia that is anti-government. We try to understand each other and we came to more of a, a state where we actually don't want to take a side uh, or we can actually willing to listen to each other even if we're again lenient towards one point because we're also like that's when we talked about with uh, Cindy uh, about it. Like we we have this pressure from also from our families because our family either can be like uh, fully Sunni or fully Shia or sushi. <laughs> so so we have this you know again we've been raised on something, but but then again um, um, uh, how can I say it? Um, can I say in Arabic? No. <laughs> um, um, we actually even like even within our community, we try to listen as well to 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 our families, to our connections, to our friends, whether they're taking signs or not. Um, uh, even trying to interact with non Bahrain because we have a lot of response from them as well. Because when you see those events, we have lots of tourists, lots of lots of non Bahrainis, and they're actually. Uh, intrigued to 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 know what we're actually doing and once they did they were like oh god yes we wanted to do something we want to bring Bahrain back as it is before so so yeah we try to get that diversity we try to get different opinions and different people do you want to add anything anyone who wants to add anything well yeah I'm, I'm, I'm a yeah, I could say I'm a product of <laughs> that diversity you're talking about. <laughs> my mom is Filipino, my dad is Bahraini, so... Um, um, even even J, I think. Yeah, J, J, as, J well. Is, as well as like me. Um, so yeah, we're, we're di quite diverse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you were saying that you felt that when the things opened up more in terms of the Sunni-Shia relationship that it would also help in relation to the Filipinos and other quote-unquote foreigners. Can you say a little about that? Um, about the discrimination? Pick one topic at random. Put me on the spot. Uh, okay. Um, because uh, at the 90s there was this like kind of like a trend where um, Bahrainis, because they can't afford marrying um, uh, Bahraini women, because uh, I have a house. It's very expensive. So they get to marry foreign women, 
Yeah? So, it, it happened. Um, so, 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 my dad did that, and apparently, uh, I won't be here. Um, and uh, living in the 90s, I, I'm, I'm 1990, born in 1990. I'm not that. Okay, um, but growing up in the 90s was really hard uh, because people did not accept us as like, like a part of them. It's like they're your intruders. You're you're not Bahraini. You're you're like half and half. You know, they don't even like admit that we are Bahraini. So it, it was it was quite difficult growing up in in, in such environment. But um, I, I lived. So um, and we're, we're stuck with struggling. But we're going there. People are accepting me better. Um, I guess and. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's quite <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Yeah, yeah. These, these guys are my family, so. Yeah. <laughs> Is the group um, more accepted by parts of society, or does everyone want to accept you, or does everyone want to resist you? No. <laughs> well, uh, what we found is that um, we're, we're kind of accepted on a lot of levels of society because we don't really have a, a statement or an agenda or a, a political opinion. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we are just a group of young people, and we are from all around Bahrain, and we are from different ethnic or, or uh, <laughs> 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 like, like I've said, like we've mentioned before, we're quite di diverse. So. Um, um, people are, are uh, tend to be quite friendly in Bahrain, and we have uh, we have had support from uh, different parts of the community. We've had support from uh, also from the government, from the uh, from the bob market. Uh, from the bob market, we had uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Right? He had visited our stall. He had taken pictures with us. And when we posted that on Instagram, I think overnight we had about 200 more followers. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, we've had actually uh, we've had a lot of people just respond to us in the same way because they can kind of see that we're genuine, and um, the goals that we have are just to benefit Bahrain, no matter who you are, yeah. uh, no matter where you're from, if you're from Bahrain or not. If you're here, you're you're with us, and we just want to have a society where people trust each other, and I think they see that. Yeah. Have you? Use social media at all? Yeah, very much. I mean, the, the, what's also uh, was a good uh, uh, benefit for us is that we do not belong to a governmental institute. It's not like we're sponsored by, let's say, the Ministry of Culture or or an, any individual institute. We're like just a group of individuals. Mm -hmm. So uh, people are actually more receptive of that. They feel more comfortable with it. So because like as any other art um, project or initiative, uh, people were actually looking back where it was sponsored or who is sponsoring it, and then they were boycotted just because of the source or the sponsor. So I think that gives us a lot of point that we do not really belong to someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you're learning from one another, how is that changing your other relationships? Mm. Does anyone want to take this one? Yeah, I think it changed anything. What do you mean, uh, what we learn from each other? Well, it sounds like you're learning to listen to one another and you're learning to um, interact yeah. mm -hmm. amongst the diverse group. And I imagine that's changing you yeah. in some way. Mm -hmm. So you all have relationships outside of this group. Yeah. And I was wondering if you could take what you learn from one another mm -hmm. and from these interactions yeah and bring it to the other parts of your lives. Mm -hmm. What is change? But I'm not the one to answer this question because I'm a, uh, my mom is a Shi'i and my father is Sunni, so <laughs> since the beginning I was in, yeah, I've been living this from the beginning. Uh, maybe you say? Uh, I'm from Birmingham, yeah. United BH, this is my yeah. subject, uh, United Bahrain, so no difference between Shi'i and Sunni. That I have uh, friends of Sunnis and after the uprising, after the crackdown, I got arrested because of what happened, but it didn't change anything with my friends or any relationship with the friends. Because I believe in United Bahrain, because if we didn't win one 
like at least you need that's the most. If I had to add some, some things like um, what changed in me personally is like but the change yeah. Well, well, I think it, it, it's reflected more first on, on us and dealing with our family as a one, uh, our, our first uh, interaction. Mm -hmm. uh, for me personally, and uh, maybe some, some of us also have similar things, like you get your family more going towards one side, <coughs> but then when, you, when they know that you're up to something like that, I mean, they, be, they become to um, have the ability to listen more. Like, uh, for me personally, my parents were really actually interested in how I'm going to do this because it's kind of really difficult yeah. to actually accept, you know, two different <laughs> extremes. So, um, they were really supportive, even if, if, if they have their own, you know, directions. And because it's, 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 it's more of a social thing rather than political, <coughs> it is, uh, it was affect people. We have lost so many friends just because of our names or or, or the, the um, or, or our family's uh, you know uh, uh, branch of, of, of Sunni or Shia. It's just because I'm a Sunni. I have lost so many of Shia friends that I had before, and and knowing that I mean going out there and and doing something like that might actually reach them and, and say, okay, they are willing to res listen, they're not as, as bad as they, we think they are. So uh, it, 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 it has a slow effect, let's say. Yeah. And for me, it was because I was really frustrated when everything was happened and we, because we, were, we could not go to school and you know, I felt very isolated. And so when we met all these guys and it just it felt so nice to like that people think that there's hope that people mm -hmm. think like you and you know have positive they want even if it, regardless of their political view that they don't want to affect like you know our human interaction with each other it's like we have whatever is that we want it like our political view doesn't should not affect how we we should respect each other and it was really <coughs> nice to hear stories from, because, you know, Bahrain is very small, but you can be so isolated in some areas. So to hear stories from different part of, area, from different areas and different point of view, it was really, I don't know, uh, how to say it, pure or fresh air, I guess. And, uh, yeah, and I got to meet new friends, which was really great, and, and also, um, like you know, even not as an artist, I feel like I grow and uh, we I learn so many new skills just by. I don't know. It was a really great experience, and they are like my family, so it's a great experience. We might have time for one more question, and then we can answer. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that it's very inspiring and wonderful to hear all of you, um, and I think you're doing and you will be doing a great job. I'm wondering, um, I want to think about what Aziz said, that it's universal and it relates to other places. But from my experience, it's very unique, actually. And it's unique because a lot of other places where they deal with conflicts or with the attempt to reconcile, they focus on the injustices, the yeah. discrimination, yeah. Uh, giving voice to the disempowered, um, which is all very, very important. Mm -hmm. I see that your work, and I've just been exposed to it, so I don't know it well, mm -hmm. but either because of, I don't know if it's um, self-preservation under certain uh, constrictors, or you're just enormous uh, youth and exuberance and positive power, but it's all about unity and positive and, um, I mean, who doesn't want a free hug? <laughs> it's, and, and I think in that sense, it's very, um, it's very different and it's going in a different direction. Now, you started in 2012. I don't know, um, of course, as, as politicians, things, 
think art is a marginal thing and flimsy and yeah. hugs and kisses and kumbaya they call it here that's what I learned <laughs> but um, and 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 you want to make rigorous art but you also might want to make serious political change and are you going to continue in that positive vein, or don't you know? Or um, there's a question yeah, in there I somewhere, know. I know. Uh, I'm so <laughs> glad that someone pointed that at that, because we wanted to also mention that in a way. We um, actually was one of the main directions in, in putting uh, the team together and having how we can represent people through our work was to actually take out all the negative parts and focus on the positive. So that was one of the main objectives is to actually focus on what's, you know, what's really bring us together, the happy things, the positive, you know, uh, impacts. And, and even if we have, like, if we wanted to focus on something that is sad and it's, it's political, it's, it's really uh, painful, we wanted to bring the exact opposite of it. So we actually, in a way, pointing out at the bad things, but in a very uh, right. different way of, of, of doing that. And, and, and even in, in, in our work was, it was, I mean, free hug. I, <laughs> it's not actually a painting or an installation art. It's, it's more of the interaction that was the art itself, that, that people actually, first you get to say, Oh, stuff for long. What's yeah. going on? Like you're wearing scarves and you're hugging people, and, <laughs> and then slowly you get a smile, and then slowly you get, and it's like, uh, uh, and, and you go jump and hug them. <laughs> slowly, slowly, somebody would start thinking about you, and and that that's the sort of like interaction. What was that's that's the art part of it. And uh, the, those small little cars, it, it was like really famous. Um, so yeah, little things. And then even look what, what we had as answers from the community, uh, and it was also a main ingredient, is, is, is making community, community making the art itself. It's not, not, it's not like us doing something or doing something in isolated studios. It's, it's, doing something with the community so that when somebody comes to that wall and say oh I made that picture I sent it so mm. they feel part of the work rather than you know looking at it just from a third perspective guys you want to add anything uh, I guess the main thing uh, the main reason I joined Urfa is to celebrate the diversity of the of the country so I don't think we want to go through the negative stuff yeah. And do you want to continue? <laughs> <laughs> so, as I mentioned, many opportunities to continue conversation in classes on Friday at noon when the exhibition opens. Um, I would like you to ask to ask you to join me in just thanking the Lafa to share.